Would you prefer your resin when it's cured to be full of bubbles and micro bubbles like this one? Or would you prefer your resin once it's cured to be lovely and clear and micro bubble free like this one? Keep watching this video and you will see how easy it is to get a clear bubble free resin casting as opposed to one with these pesky bubbles in. Well the great news is resiners have brought out a new bubble extractor for resin. Now I haven't tried this yet but I'm going to give it a test now. In comparison to the other one, it looks like it's exactly the same size. The release valve is slightly larger, but the internal bit is just the same. The difference is it only has a one button operation. You push that button and it will degas your resin. It's not designed for really thick resins. It's designed for thin and medium resins. But remember, you should never be using cold resin. And if it's cold, it's thick and you're never going to get great results for curing from it anyway. So what we're going to do is give this a quick test and a comparison between what this looks like with the resin going in here and without the resin going in the bubble machine. The other great thing is this is a much, much better price than this one which has all the bells and whistles and the timers and everything. Now I'm going to be using the Jdiction 3x UV Protect resin for this. It's medium thickness resin, so it'll be ideal to test out using this. If it works with a medium thickness resin, it's definitely going to work with a thinner resin. I'm going to make two of these, one without the resin going into the machine and one with. As always, I'd recommend you use a cup like this. It's much better than using just the silicon jugs to put into that machine. So I'm mixing my resin up now and I'm trying to mix it up quite rapidly. I wouldn't normally mix it up as quick as this because I want to create bubbles in there. And as you can see, there are a lot of bubbles in that. And now I'm going to pour some of that into this cube first with all the bubbles in. And we'll put that to one side and I'm going to pour some of it into this coaster. There we go. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the rest of it into this bubble extraction machine. Now remember, never put a full pot in one of these. You only ever want to put a pot in that is half full at the most. Because when it froths up, you don't want it to be frothing up and spilling over. All you do then is put the top on. Make sure your little valve is shut. Okay and then push the button and let it do its thing. Now this will work for 15 minutes before it will turn itself off. If you feel that your resin's already clear, you can push that like that and it will turn it off for you. Now they're still selling the other one, that's still going to be part of the range. Now that one is at $169. So this retails at $119.99 US dollars. It will be available in the UK, Denmark and around Europe as well soon and hopefully in Australia and Canada. So it's at 119 US dollars, but there's a, there's a 20 US dollar discount on Amazon. But I also have a 10% discount code that you can add as well and that will take it down to 87.99 which is a great price. It makes it much more affordable for those resin users that aren't doing it as often or just can't afford to spend that sort of money on it. The proof will be in the pudding whether this works. What we're going to do now is leave this to do its magic and then I'll show you what to do next. But don't forget the discounts in the description below. Now this has been running for about three minutes and already you can see where it's starting to bring those bubbles up to the surface here. So we'll leave it to run a little bit longer and we'll come back to it and find out how well it's doing. This has nearly had its full time I would imagine and as you can see there's virtually no bubbles in that resin now whatsoever. I'm going to leave it to have its whole 15 minutes because like I said this is a medium thickness resin. I definitely think that resiners are coming out with game changers for the resin hobbyists and for people who are setting up resin businesses and selling stuff at craft fairs with all the things that they're bringing out to make life a lot easier and give us much more professional results. Resiners are definitely the game changing people in this area. So that's finished now and it's had its time. What I would recommend is that you leave it about 15 seconds before you start to release the air and then release the air by just pulling out that valve there like that and letting the air go back into that because you're not actually releasing the air you're bringing air back into this. I would then put your resin valve back in and take your lid off. 
and then take your resin out. And as we can see, that resin is lovely and clear. I would then give it a couple of seconds because the resin, if there's any bubbles stuck on the top, you can just go around with a lighter and get rid of those that have stuck to the sides. And then leave it for about 30 seconds before you pour it. These moulds are quite old, so they're not going to be as glossy as a new mould. But that should still show us how well this clears the bubbles. Now don't throw these away. These aren't a one-time use, these plastic cups. What I'll show you is a great method of being able to clean these up. So I think that's had long enough now. I'm going to pour this gently in because I will trap bubbles in the corners. And I don't want to mess around with it too much. Similar to I'm not going to mess around with the one that didn't go into the actual machine either. So we filled that one right to the top and then we'll put the rest of that in here. And now we've got a dirty pot. We'll move that to one side. We'll move that to one side and we'll let them cure up overnight. And now the best way I've found of cleaning out these pots so they're spotless and to clean out molds and things as well. Firstly, I use a baby wipe to get rid of any of the excess that's in there like that. And then I use one of these. These are amazing. They're big wipes and they clean so well. They are awesome and they last ages as well. I probably have two on the go the whole day. And all I do is go around this to clean much better than baby wipes. They will get it spotless. Now they might seem a little bit more expensive. They're not overly expensive. I think it's about $8 for a whole box like that. But you get a lot more use out of them. I clean all my moulds with these. And then that pot is completely clean and ready to use over and over again. Well, these are both cured now. This is the one that I did without putting it in the actual vacuum chamber. And this is the one I did putting it in. So let's have a quick look at them. Well, on first glances, there are a couple of bubbles in that, as you can see. But let's have a look what it looks like when there's a light coming through it. You can see a few. That's quite a shallow coaster, but there are still a few bubbles in it. Now, let's look at this one. Look, I over poured as a surprise. And as you can see, there are no bubbles in that, apart from one that I got caught in the actual corner itself. I should have released that, but didn't notice it. So that's much better. Now let's look at the block. Now this is deeper, so this is gonna show the results much more. So that's the block. Oh yeah, you can see the bubbles in that. Look, all oh, the bubbles in that. Little micro bubbles that can be so annoying whenever you're doing anything. And this is the one that went in, and I can't see a single micro bubble in that anywhere. There's the difference. That's the one without. That's the one with. Massive difference of micro bubbles. Look at that. So it works. Works brilliantly as I found that all resinous products do. A really, really great product. And it's lovely and affordable as well. Making it easy, accessible for even the hobbyist now. Don't forget the links for this and the discount are in the description below. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I love reviewing new products and seeing if they're worth their money. Be sure to boot that like button, hit that subscribe button, but most of all, take care and enjoy your resin. Bye.